Hey guys, Dr. Kilfoy here. Today we have a video about gangrene. Now patient comes in with no pulses. That means that they have no oxygen to their toes. This is what happened to this patient. This patient had no pulses on one foot, but good pulses on the other foot. He's a patient my age. Typically peripheral vascular disease doesn't work like that. Sometimes it happens to older people or people with horribly uncontrolled diabetes. That was not the case for this guy. Pretty much as soon as you see wounds that are on the very tips of the toes. That's by the time the oxygen gets there, there's no oxygen left. By the time the blood gets there, there's no oxygen left. And so you'll see that bad doctors will start to scrape and peel and, and poke at these wounds when you when you do that, you're increasing the demand for oxygen. You're cre creating a trauma, and when you create that trauma, the body needs oxygen to heal that. Right now, the body can't even sustain living tissue without that trauma. So do not scrape these wounds if the patient doesn't have pulses. You send them for a vascular evaluation, ABI, PVR, diagnostic ultrasound, and they ultimately should be getting that angiogram, that angioplasty, that rotor rooter procedure to bring more blood flow to that foot so that the supply can meet the demand so you can effectively do a debridement like we did here. So after we did the angioplasty angiogram with my favorite vascular guy, uh, we, he came back. His pulses were palpable, believe it or not, and these other guys were flaking right off. I left the first two toes off, and they're gonna naturally come off in the next couple of weeks, or I'll help them out a little bit in the next couple of weeks. So pretty much the message for my other podiatrists are, if you have a patient with peripheral vascular disease that they do not have palpable pulses, they have wounds in the area of arterial sufficiency, I'm talking about the lateral edge of the foot, I'm talking about the tips of the toes, do not debride them. Do not scrape or crap don't do shit. Stop. Stop doing that. Because if you st a patient has a little wound right here, they can't feel their pulses. Their, their foot is has pallor. It's white because it has no blood flow at all. Do not scrape that foot. You send them to a vascular guy first. Let them reestablish the blood flow, and then you can scrape that foot. Thanks for watching, guys. Dr. Kilfo with Podiatry Explain. Reform and turn into a brand new nail, a uh, brand new toe, and we'll and I'd love to monitor that. All right, cool. And I'm not gonna touch these guys. Okay. This will, these will start to peel off and then come back and we'll, we'll do that here. To treat these guys, just regular like Neosporin or Bastard Tracer or something like that. You don't need a lot, but a little tiny smear of that here. Don't need a lot. And then a little smear of that here. I'm gonna give you a little goodie bag and then we'll just do one of these guys. Bam. And I highly recommend you go on Amazon and get yourself some of this stuff because it's gonna be so much easier than wrapping it up and you get Hyperfix. So Hyperfix is gonna be 10 times easier than wrapping it up. And you peel it from the center like this and you wrap it uh, and you just do one of these guys.